Bruce, you had um you had stats for all our fight episodes. I did. I was very curious because we've done a bunch of, of fight episodes, and I w- had like a suspicion that Ben had won a majority of them. So I wanted to add them up just to see how we ranked. So I did um I did I tallied up like first, second, and third for all of us for all of them, and so f- we've done a total of fifteen fight episodes so far. And I've already told you guys the results, so I'm not going to, like, try to make you guess. But Ben has won 11 of them. <laughs> 11 out of 15. I felt really bad when you told me this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, and you should feel bad, Ben, because the only reason you win the, you win the fight episodes is because you won't concede any, any points. Um, I concede just points. Uh, <laughs> I, I, give you, I, I, I give you weaknesses. <laughs> I... I sus- yeah, you give us weaknesses, but then won't allow us to turn those into win percentage points. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ben Ben always I, takes like the weird fringe characters that we don't think about, and they always end up to be like way more powerful than we think they are. Or interested in one case, I pick a polar bear, and you guys pick like <laughs> yeah. I mean, just things that can't fight a polar bear. I guess I don't know. I I think a lot of it, and and I wonder if it's this. It's that. Almost always, the way we do the episode is me and Chris's character will face off first, and then we decide how Ben ends up in the aftermath. Um, and that seems to be kind of our canter for, well, probably 11 out of 15 of them. That's um, probably because that gives... Ben picks the fringe characters, and we pick the character, the obvious characters that would be pitted against each other. Yeah, maybe. And again, it could, yes, it could be potentially like character selection and it just is that like the narrative makes the most sense that way but i feel like we're always like me it's me versus chris and we've split we do a split and then we start talking about all of ben's iterations but there's four iterations kind of after that where it's like talking about okay if this if marcus wins then it's it's chris versus ben if this one's and then it's with ben like we start talking about all ben's fights and we've already talked about a lot of different fight potentials but like potential fights by that point and so i feel like we do a lot more of like okay, it's, like, guaranteed this or, like, 90-10 this in favor of somebody. And I think that combined with how I just multiply numbers together through a weird spreadsheet might give Ben an advantage. I don't know. It could be that Ben picks good characters. Um, But really, the the, the conclusion is that Ben sucks. Yeah, that's fair. (laughs) So I've only won one episode, and Marcus has won three. So I don't have a good track record <laughs> i don't remember which episode the one i won was i can look through that yeah i feel like you oh, concede yeah. a little too quickly or like you feel like your character didn't like come cohesively nope. together she's so like yeah i would just do this i guess i definitely don't concede considering i still don't think um Oh, Toucan, Toucan Sam, Sam has super, super strength. strength. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, in fairness, I didn't win that one. You didn't win that one. <laughs> it's true. I guess we can. Yeah, we we're always way more contentious with each other than we are with Ben. That is also That's true. I don't, I don't know what it is about me and you, Chris. We end up on like the opposite side of every argument, and I don't think we're that different. Like. Like, that we have, like, such different opinions generally. It's just, we always play devil's advocate to each other. Yeah. And then suddenly become very stubborn <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> the one that I won was, um, it was the first superhero fight that we did, random superhero fight. And I did the crossover thing where I could, like, pull things from different fiction. Oh, yeah, that was bullshit. You don't deserve yeah, that. Yeah, was one. super Take OP. that off the scoreboard. Take that off the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're vacating your win. The only one you have. I was desperate to win. Well, we well, yeah, we've already decided that Ben sucks. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of Ben's wins. We're gonna get rid of Chris's wins. So I've won all three of the fight episodes we've done that have been legitimate, <laughs> which leaves me with a perfect record. I see no flaw in this personally. <laughs> we we. I'm pretty sure we've acknowledged that you win all of them and we're like, okay, in the next episode, we're going to try to like, you're going to pick the weaker one. <laughs> I I feel like, yeah, we've definitely said this multiple times and yet here we are. 
I will say once we get once we get talking about the about the fight, like all this any, any preconceived notions I had about like winners and losers almost always goes right out the window. Because once you start having the conversation, actually, you know, mentally fighting it out, it's like, oh, okay, actually, yeah, maybe that or maybe that. Um, but hey, I have the power over the numbers, and I can just put whatever the hell I want in my spreadsheet, and you guys are never going to check my math. <laughs> so what was the one true. we like just did where I had a power I thought was going to be completely useless? That I was like, oh, okay, I have this one that's just you know the complete flowers. does nothing. The flower one, yeah. How the did? Bees. Oh yeah, and you had bees. You like, like yeah. I decided on bees. I was already. It's like okay, this is the one where it's like I have one actually good thing, and then I can like make flowers. <laughs> and then Marcus's whole thing was using bees. And I was like, well, okay, like. <laughs> And you won that one. I won that one. That was a preview clip from our Patreon-exclusive behind-the-scenes episode. For the full episode, click on the link in the description.